WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the Market Update at 2 p.m. With me, David White, here at TFNN. So what do we have to do? Well, we had uh, Chairman Powell come out uh, and have a little talk and a little speech at about noon. And we had something we haven't had for a while, and that is that the option market makers and some others had decided to go delta neutral a day early. Uh, if you haven't listened to my show, I talk about it regularly. But for monthly options, the decay of the option is so little in the last seven, eight days of the – actually, seven trading days after the Wednesday before uh, the uh, major – monthly options expiration, uh, that uh, there's a huge amount of risk for those option writers. So what they'll do is they'll either put on or take off or, or add a short or long position on the other side to make sure that the delta, i.e. the change in their account, doesn't move very much. It's not going to move not at all. But for the most part, they can get it down to where it's maybe a half a percent uh, usually. Well, that was going to be tomorrow. I was kind of looking for it. I didn't think that Powell would have actually a lot to say today. But I think they used that as an excuse uh, for what he said because I didn't see anything in there that really changed the trajectory of the market. He may have been just a tad softer uh, than uh, maybe even last Wednesday at the Fed meeting. But I didn't think that there was much there. So – what do we have? Well, we have markets that were severely down uh, or down. Then, Well, not severely down. We were down a little bit. Then we went and went whole hog higher. And then we've totally reversed back to being about flat on the market. I think the s and P's down two points today. So, you know, there's just – you just have to watch and learn. But this is a bear market. And you get these kind of massive uh, pops higher, and they instantly fizzle. And that kind of tells you that you are in that bear market. Uh, you, don't, uh, you don't really get um, that kind of stuff to the downside because there's always people wanting to buy in a bull market. Anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes. We'll discuss this and a whole lot more. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the